Again, coming to you from Love Legacy with some love bites for today. I was thinking about the word purple uh, and this month being the month that we do domestic violence awareness. And I am a survivor and a thriver. No longer a victim, but a victor. And why is that? Because I found my voice and I found my worth and found my value. When you think about the color purple, you think about royalty, you think about the vibrance of the color. It is so beautiful, especially if you combine it with particular colors like gold. Purple trimmed in gold is so beautiful. Purple trimmed in silver is also beautiful glittering kind of silver, shimmery silver. So that's the way our creator thinks about us. Whatever your situation has been that caused you to feel that you're devalued, you're not worth it, uh, low self-esteem, feeling that your body parts are not perfect, you want to do cosmetic surgery, you want to change how your eyes look, your teeth look, your mouth looks, Whatever part of your body just seems to be a problem to you. You need to find your peace with yourself and learn to accept you the way you were created. Why do you think I could say that? Well, I struggle with those very things I'm talking about. But now, many, many years later, I am comfortable in my skin. I love myself. I value what God has placed in me. There's so much that even surprises me that I've suppressed for so many years because of what people would say or what people would think or even what I would think. Even right now doing this sound bite to you, calling the love bites, I didn't like to hear my voice. I didn't like how I sound when I sang. I didn't like how I sound when I spoke because my voice was deep and people always mistaken me as a man when I'm talking on the phone as opposed to a woman. So I'm going to give you some acronyms and going to give you some tidbits and thoughts for you to think about it when you think about the letters in the word purple. When God created us, and think about it in the mindset of the creator, the master uh, manufacturer, of all mankind and all that we see here in the earth and the world today. When you think about the word P, you think about purpose. God created everything with purpose. And it has a reason to serve. In Psalms 33 and 11, it says, But the plans of the Lord stands firm forever, the purposes of his heart through all generations. So everything created on the face of this earth will serve its purpose because that's what the manufacturer, the creator, our God, has said it would be. When you think about the next letter, which is you, I think about unique. God created each one of us uniquely formed. There is no duplications of our fingerprints When we leave our stamp on this world, there will be nobody, there will be copycats. People copy a lot of things, but the uniqueness of individuals, no one can copy because that is you. In Psalms 139, 14, which I love, I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works. When God created me, he didn't create any junk. He created a unique authentic being that has great contributions to make to this world. And my goal is to fulfill that before I leave this earth. And I pray that that is the same for you. When you think about royalty, the word aura comes royalty. First Peter 2 and 9, it says, 
But you are chosen generation, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people to show forth his praises. We're talking about the praises of who? The creator. We were created to give him praise and to give him glory in all we say and all we do. That's if you have made the decision to be a follower of Christ. That's what we were created originally for. Yes, there was an angel who was beautiful and thought he was above and beyond. And he thought he could be a god. And those fallen angels, along with the chief Lucifer angel who was beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, the wings. They talk about how gorgeous this angel is. So the devil that we portray in today's world, like Halloween coming up, that is not the devil that we know about. That's not Satan. That's not Lucifer. He was gorgeous. He was a beautiful angel. He was the top angel, but he got beside himself and thought he was the all. And he could be greater than his creator, which we as human beings sometimes make the mistake of thinking. There is nobody greater than creator. If you think you do no wrong and everything you do is wonderful and anybody that talks against you is evil, then you are thinking that you're above. You have pride thinking you're better than what you are. And nobody is greater than our creator. So there's that scripture is 1 Peter 2 and 9. You need to read it, study it. There's so much meat in that. Then we are protected. When God created us, he created us with protection as well. We send his angels that encamp around about us. Psalms 91 and the first verse talks about that he will give his angels charge of us and protect us and keep us in all our ways. He that abides under the shelter of the Almighty. So if you stay in his care and his shelter, he will protect you. Isaiah 54 and 17 says, no weapon formed against you. Now it will form, weapons will form, but he said, they shall not prosper. That's the key word, because he will cast it down. It can form, but it shall not prosper. And that's what we have to remember, that God has us on his protective wings. Then we move to the next letter, L. We are loved. In Jeremiah 31 and 3, it says, The Lord appeared, Yahweh appeared to me, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. What does everlasting mean? Never ending. I have loved you. When he created us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, John 3.16. This is what we should always remember. When I struggled with who I was, God loved me before I was even formed in my mother's womb. That's another scripture. In um, Ephesians 2 and 10, it says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the things he planned us to do long ago. So when you find that you have lost your way, you have fallen away from Christ, you walked away from him, and then you find your way back to him. He never stops loving us. Even in all of our mess, he never stops loving us. And when we're ready to come back, just like the story of the prodigal son, he is there waiting with open arms to receive us. So remember that when you awaken and come to yourself, remember that there is a loving, everlasting God that loves you and keeps no record of wrong. He loves you and he washes the slate clean. When you ask for forgiveness, he blotters out our transgressions and he remembers them no more. He throws them into the sea of forgetfulness. And finally, the letter E, he offers us those who are followers of him, those who have reconciled ourselves back to him, eternal life. He says in 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promises as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with us, 
not wanting any of us to perish, but to come to him in repentance. But the, also the scripture, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whoever, no matter where you're at, believes on him. No matter what you've come from, no matter what you've done, no matter if you're in jail, you're in prison, you're a murderer, whatever. If you confess your sins before him, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That means if you're an abuser, that means if you're a person that incites or causes somebody to abuse you. Because domestic violence is not always somebody who is being beat on and uh, didn't do anything. It's also people who like to get the people stirred up and cause them to hit you. When I say cause you, you keep antagonizing. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. You keep shoving. And then you end up getting beat up. There are some people, strangely to say, that love to get beat up. And I don't understand that, but I know people like that. So no matter where you find yourself in the area of abuse, God is still a forgiver. God is still a restorer. God still loves you. He hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. That's what you need to understand. So I hope that these tidbits of love will help you as you move forward in your day to day. So I will just say a little prayer with you. Father, I thank you for the men and the women and the children that may hear this sound bite. Love bite, knowing that you care for us and you desire that no man, no woman, no child perish, but all come to repentance and accept you. That we will live with you when we leave this earth, in this earthly body, and we go to the dust. That we will find ourselves living with you eternally in that mansion that you have prepared for us up above. But Father, I pray that we not leave this earth before our time. I pray that if we find ourselves in a place of, of danger, we find ourselves in a place where the enemy is using somebody to destroy our lives, that you will stop them in their tracks and that you, Father, will arrest them. Your Holy Spirit will arrest them and they will cry, what must they do to be saved? Father, we love you. I pray that you comfort and strengthen those who are downtrodden, whose hearts are broken, whose lives are broken. And I pray, Father God, that you are the Father, the Potter that puts our lives back together. And that those pieces and all of those negative uh, encounters will turn around for our good. Because you're the God that mends all broken pieces together and that you mend it with love and that you are mended with forgiveness and that you mend it with hope and that you, Lord God, will comfort us and know us that let us know that you love us and you will never leave us nor forsake us. Bless us in this day as we go forward and that we will be encouraged and reminded of these words that we have shared today in your precious name that we have prayed. Amen. I love you. God loves you more. Enjoy this beautiful day, this autumn day. Go with God until we meet again. Thanks for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think of the episode. And remember, we all need to lift our voices effectively. Until next time, have a great day.